and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the NFL Combine promo. Pretty much what to expect, how to prepare, and pretty much when we should be expecting all this stuff in the game. Now, the Combine promo is one of the last big relevant promos. Obviously, Ultimate Legends are going on. We should be getting, you know, like the path to the draft. But this is like one of the last huge ones that, like, it's gonna be super fun, kind of interesting. Because after that, like, the NFL season, that's kind of it for this season. And then we start heading towards, like, paths of the draft, an Easter type promo, maybe still team MVPs potentially. But all that stuff is more like off season. Like, Combine, we still kind of consider right into the end of the Madden season right now. Because they kind of drop it a little bit earlier than it probably should be dropped. But I'm super excited. Now, guys, if you guys don't already know, I will be announcing the giveaway winners from yesterday, from the last few days on this 10:30 video today. So make sure you go to them back below to my 10:30 video. Should be going over some of the powers, maybe some content. I recommend you guys go check that video out. It's gonna kind of be where you want to be to find out if you won the giveaways. And now I will not be running that giveaway on today's video. My coin is gonna take a big of a hit from those giveaways, so we'll probably restart it up for the combine promo. But guys, beyond that, let's get into this video, guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, comment down below. And turn that noti bell guys we did hit 20k thank you so much for that we finally hit 20k that's a huge milestone guys thank you so much for that let's keep growing we have more milestones to break and more milestones to hit so and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up i know there's no giveaway guys but if you're here still smash the like button let's get this video to 200 likes now let's get into this video so the combine promo should be starting about i believe they said the special stream was gonna be thursday night which does imply that the 19th is wednesday 20th so the 21st is when the combine promo should drop it's such an awkward time that it can't be the team MVP promo. It pretty much has to be the NFL Combine promo. I'm still super excited though, guys. NFL Combine promo will be unleashing some of the most athletic and overpowered cards in Madden to this point. Gonna be a lot of endgame cards. Gonna have to pick up a few of them because they're always so great. But let's take it over to the Mudhead real quick to show you guys the older cards from last year. And then I'm gonna take you guys even somewhere better to show you guys the bulk of all of this content. All right, so as you guys see, we're over on Mudhead. Gonna show you guys some of the few players just so you guys can see what I mean. But so let's start from over down here. Guys, these cards are going to be the most athletic cards in the game. As you can see, look at this Odell right here. 98 spec catch, 95 uh, speed, 95 jumping. Just right there. Great speed, great jumping. Great spec catch. Pretty much every combine card is going to have some crazy type of athleticism with some of their best stats that, they, that they're that they known for. So as you can see, Odell, has, Odell can do everything. He's an end game receiver. Deshaun Jackson, 96 speed. Vernon Davis, 92 speed for tight ends, really, really great, especially if you can power him up, plus really great catching. Daniel Hunter, 89 speed at end. Brandon Williams, 81 excel at defensive tackle, but he has a really great strength because that's what he did. He was, he was good at the bench press. Telvin Smith, he had a great 40-yard dash, so they gave him a 90 speed and 91 excel for an outside linebacker. That's super solid. Luke Kuechly, he just finished really great in all the, in all the, in all the linebacker skills, so you know what does that give him? That gives him a well, very well-rounded card. Byron Jones. Had 99, had the best broad jump. He broke the broad jump record, I'm pretty sure. So, 99 jumping, great speed, great excel. That's an end game cornerback right there. Easily Patrick Peterson, end game cornerback, crazy speed, crazy excel. Now, let's go all the way up. Jarek McKinnon, great speed. Jadavion Clowney, great speed, excel. Marshall Lattimore. Pretty much, guys, every card is going to be able to get to close to 99 cost speed. And it's going to be like one of those glitchy type defenders. And even offense, guys. Adrian Amos. And then Chris Johnson, obviously, is going to have 99 almost everything in terms of athleticism because that's the kind of card that. He's known for getting around this time. Now I'm taking you guys on over to go show you guys some more over on the other Madden screen real quick. I am super excited because it is going to show you guys pretty much everything you guys can be expecting. So let's head on over there. On Madden 19. Guys, I've not opened this game up for quite a while, but as you guys can see, this is the combine set right here, what it looked like last year. Random combine star, complete the sets, earn a random combine star. Wild card trophies, pretty much guys, these were just trophies that you got from playing, I believe the solos and like the house rules. So this is kind of like how we're gonna get a free player because they usually always introduce a free player for a big promo. Combine Master Chris Johnson. This is the card that we seem to always get every year. Maybe they'll change it this year because we get him so much. You just had to exchange the low players for this. It really wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. Ended up making sure that he was super cheap. And then there's just the rest of everything. So like the day one. So pretty much they dropped it in intervals, guys. They dropped like this day one, halfback, offensive lineman, kicker, punter. Day two, day three, day four. This went on for four days and it released pretty much all the positions slowly. Now, obviously, they're probably going to change this up this year because they don't, they're not always exactly entirely consistent, but we can expect that the same kind of positions will drop, obviously. We can expect similar overalls, similar type players because it's usually the same players that broke the combine. Only additions will be like recent guys who just recently did it, like maybe like a Saquon Barkley. 
Saquon Barkley combine would make sense. But other than that, we shouldn't see much of a change beyond that. But I am super excited for the fact that we're getting this promo real soon. A little earlier than usual. We should be expecting, guys, what can you expect from a good promo, like I always say? A free player. Daily content. Some good solos and house rules. I think we should be getting every single one of those things for this promo, guys. I, I would expect that we get at least that because there's quite a lot to do with this promo. And last year, that's exactly how they did it. And as long as we get one free player, I'm fine with that because a one free combine player is an end game card. You power him up all the way. He's pretty much good to go. I mean, sometimes it sucks if you get like Bohannon, you get like the fullback, you get a kicker. But to be quite honest, it's really not that bad. Although from the combine promo, you're going to want one of the athletic beasts. Not so much a kicker, but it happens time to time. So you guys got to just go with it. Now, let's see if I have any combine. Um, let's actually go over here. Let's see if we can go right here and click on the cards. You know, the sets last year were weird. They really didn't require any big name cards to really go ahead and get these cards. Now, let me go over to my team. I'm pretty sure I have some combine players on my team for you guys to see. Yep. And the card I get every year, guys, Vernon Davis, 97 overall tight end. This is the kind of guy I'm expecting for the promo that I'm going to want. He's always super, super fast. Look at those stats. That's the kind of tight end that we could be expecting in the game in as little as like a week. Vernon Davis is always a solid, solid card. 95 speed of 10, and he always breaks the game for me. Odell Beckham Jr. powered up, which is just his combine card. He gets to 99 overall. Look at this card. 99 speed, 97 jumping, 96 catching, 90, um, 98 short route running, 97 medium route running, 99 deep route running. These are the kind of cards that we could be expecting from the combine promo in as little as a week. Look at that card. That card is absolutely crazy good. And stacked up to my ultimate legend, Calvin. He's right there in line. And coming on over even more, I believe I also have Patrick Peterson which is another great combine card, as you guys can see right here. Pat Pete, if you guys look at this endgame cornerback, you're crazy. He's going to have a close to 99 everything, great speed, great excel. You put him with Dion, you put him with Night Train Lane or Champ, he's going to be an amazing, amazing cornerback. I'm super excited to get him. We usually do get him. I don't know if the whole steroid thing or the PED issue will affect that by any means. I hope it does not. But as you guys can see, I was able to finish the game off with these cards. Combine drops a lot of endgame cards because their speed just gets all to 99 or close to it. And then at that point, you're pretty much just set. Once your speed's at 99, you can kind of work around some other things, but his other stats are amazing too. Now, we could be expecting some other rookie cards, like like I said, some cards from recently, like Saquon Barkley, or some other guys that did amazing at the combine, DK Metcalf. We could be expecting maybe them to get some combine performers because they obviously want to update that. But the, the, we usually get the, we get the classic. We always got a Pat Pete. We always got a Chris Johnson. We can be getting Christian McCaffrey's now, Odell's, Byron Jones. Those are kind of the best ones that we usually get. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the Madden 20, the Madden 19 segment part of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. It feels great to be back in this game. I'm super excited for this promo. Honestly, how many coins do you want? Are you going to want to have for this promo? In my opinion, probably a mil. I'm not going to be honest with you guys. These cards probably go for like 300k each. I mean, okay, if you want just one card, you need 300k. I like to get like two or three, so probably close to a mil. Or if you want to do like one of the sets, so you can get the Chris Johnson, sell him, and get the three Nats. You know, if they have like a master set like that, those kind of sets gonna cost about a mil up front to do but you're gonna make your coins back so always remember that realistically it's a profit off everything you're only gonna need a few 300k should do so make sure you go enter those giveaways guys next time i do i'll probably do it for the combine promos so that could really help you guys but remember 300k for one card about 100 million if you want to like the whole master set if they have one and as far as what else you can you how can you prepare just make sure you're not maxing out your team with ultimate legends yet guys i'd recommend you just wait a little bit don't exact don't burn your coin stack just trying to get the current players right now because it's gonna be great players like combine promo and then pretty much combat promos where you can start like chilling and picking up those players because path to the draft is kind of far from now. Easter promo is kind of far from now. So just you can take advantage of these. There's one of like the, this is a big one where you're going to get a lot of end game cards. So I really don't mind going into this. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And thank you so much for 20k. I can't thank you guys enough for that. I never thought this day would come as quickly as it did, quite honestly. I honestly didn't think we'd hit 20k for like another year or so. So the fact that we hit it in our first Madden season on YouTube, pretty awesome, guys. Thank you so much for that. Also, real quick, guys, do not forget, if you want to know if you won the giveaway, and guys, it'd be, real, it'd be a real shame if you won the giveaway and you never came to uh, claim it, go on back over to the 1030 video today. Whatever I posted as my first video of the day, go watch that. I probably not, I will, not probably. I'm going to announce them at some time throughout that video, so make sure you're listening. Because it really would suck if you won the giveaway and you didn't claim it. And then guys, all you gotta do is if you did win it and you don't have to claim it, just go over to Twitter. I have my link down in the description. DM me directly on there. Twitter's the best way because we could talk personally. The comments, I'm gonna get lost. I'm not gonna have to find them. There was a lot of comments on those videos. So directly DM me through Twitter and we'll handle it all through there. But hopefully you guys won. I mean, there's a lot of you guys here. So hopefully one of you guys won at least if you guys are watching this one. But that's about it. 
But that's about it. Like the video, turn on that only bell. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.